Am I catfish? You can say it. You can say that I'm a catfish. Okay, y'all. We are in the club. your girl up okay i don't know why i'm just always getting like would this be considered a blessing even though it's alcohol you know what i'm not gonna worry about it but people always look out for me and she brought us you're only supposed to do like two but she hooked us up and she told me that we should do from white to red which i never knew that so i'm about to taste all of these this is the sangria prosecco then chocolate and rosé rosé then chocolate prosecco and sangria so I'm finna, <laughs> baby, wipe these out and find out which one do I really wanna get because I got a whole bottle to get. So anyway, I'ma see. in the Jamaica accent. See what she do? What you want? What? <laughs> What's a go on? What you want? <laughs> this light is horrible. I tried to vlog at the restaurant but my phone went dead. So this is me vlogging post dinner. Dinner was very good. Um, girl, I had soup, the lobster bisque, lobster bisque soup. I never have that, honestly. Um, but it was so good this time. I'm like, okay, let me get a little cup of that. I tried honeys and then I liked it. So I'm like, let me get a cup of that. So, oh, whew. 
Oh, hell no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Let me, I'm going in. I can't. Not them bugs trying to attack me. This lighting is bad. It's about the best it's gonna be. So, basically, we are done with dinner. Um, I brought a bottle of wine home. I brought home the Vin chocolate almond. So, I think I'm gonna have a glass of it. But the thing about that one is, um, it's super sweet, but it's very potent. I'm gonna just do one glass um, of that one. And I don't know, kind of call it a night because honestly, I'm just like chilling. I'm not tired or anything, but I'm just like in relaxation mode. So, I'm so Um, ciao. Anyway, so. I am smart. Smart. That's what you call it. Yeah. That is what they call it. Smart is sending away food when I know you have some health problems. I'm getting rid of all Okay, so this so is the next I day. I was watching Naturally Sunny. This is the next day. I had a good time at dinner last night. Like my camera fucking cut off on me, so I couldn't get all of the dishes that we had. I got what I could, honestly, but not my camera going dead. Like who does that? Like if you know you're going to dinner, girl, make sure your battery is. Anyway, y'all see the uniform. Y'all know where I'm headed. Um, I I'm in grind mode. I'm in grind mode because I want to go to Miami next month and I want to take the girls to Wisconsin next month. So, oh, oh sorry, y'all. When I get to work, I'm going to look at the book. But, honey, I'm trying to, like, sir, do you know what the fuck is going on? Like, stay in your lane. Weirdo. Because, honestly, I got shit I need to do. I need to get some swimsuits. I have some, but I'm tired of wearing the same old swimsuits. I want something different. So, yeah, is the name of the hotel. And um, I'm wondering what that adults only shit is. I'm really wondering heavy about that. Like, let me look that up. All right, so adults only hotel. What does that mean? Like, okay, somebody already asked it. In most cases, adults only means that the hotels of this category do not allow children. Okay, the minimum age allowed differs by hotel, but it's usually either 16 or 18. Okay, adults only hotels might have different characteristics as some might be livelier while others are more tranquil relaxing and romantic okay okay yeah so this hotel this particular hotel like i said is adults only so i want to spend some time there when i looked at it I, I didn't even see that it was adults only until after i booked it and they sent me a um a follow-up email then i was like oh shit like what the fuck do that mean but it looked nice it looks nice and i don't know about everybody else but just over the course of the last like four or five years of me going to miami the rooms have gotten smaller and more expensive okay so it's my anniversary yeah mm, mm, mm. period today is my anniversary Traditionally, I normally wear white on our anniversary. Just to kind of re-remind him of, uh, you know what I'm saying, the vibes on that day, them years ago. So, I have three outfits. One of them is not white-ish. But I'm feeling like... Okay, so these are the three. Um, let's start with this one. So, this is from Naked Wardrobe. I bought this, like... Mm, I would say like six months ago the stomach is out it it would be so cute but the problem is it's super hot outside so I don't think this is gonna work even though it's really like sheer honestly 
it's so breathable it's ridiculous um yeah it's just about sheer so i mean i could get away with it but i don't think that's the vibe even though this right here baby i would kill him with that and it's long too so i would fucking burn up in that so i don't think this is gonna be an option but it's super cute this one is a dress that um i wear every now and then not very often so i don't wear this dress very often uh, every once in a while i wear it. it's from fashion over but i just like the way it hugged the curves on my body it's got the ruching right here and it's got little strings at the bottom so i could draw it up if i want to or whatever but i normally wear like this shoe with it yeah so i'm kind of leaning not toward this one because it's blue and normally i wear white you know what i'm saying so then i have this one which i have not worn this one since i got my tummy tuck i wore it once before but not since not since then but i'm trying to look as pure as possible and this is giving me ain't that cute the little ruffles at the bottom it's giving me what i need to have at this present point in time so <sighs> y'all yeah, try to figure about life out because your baby girl been married like nine years nine years that's a long time so it's time for us to celebrate what to go on you know what i'm saying so i'm about to eat my food Ooh, let me show y'all my food it really it really um looks good i'm not gonna eat the fries though this is actually a grilled chicken it really looks good i'm gonna do something with myself get dressed and then i'm gonna be back yeah Okay, so I am done getting dressed. I put on a really light face today because I ain't feel like all of that. Oh my God, the bag's under my ass, Lord Jesus. I'll give y'all an OOTD before I leave, but I got on the white. Um, I need to figure out a fragrance. My daughter say do the Tiffany because that's like more luxury and I'm feeling very much luxury, but I could do the sweet one too. The sweet one is like, uh, that's a classic. Like the Mesa Margiela, like you can't go wrong with that. So I wish y'all could really help me, but obviously you guys can't help me. So I don't know. You said the Tiffany? Yeah. Okay, Tiffany it is, I guess. What's that 130 a pop? All right. All right, I think I'm good guys. Okay, I'm gonna see y'all in a second. All right, so this is the outfit y'all. All to get that. These are like my favorite shoes. They're so comfortable. I have no issues with them. I can wear them for hours and still be good. Dress is from Fashion Nova. I had this dress about four years, but this is my first time wearing it after my surgery. And yeah. So anyway, um, I think we're just gonna go eat dinner. Honestly. Um, I forget the name of the Tiffany that I have on. If it's, I think it's Ro Rose. I want to say that's the name of it. But anyway, yeah. So I just want to get y'all a little outfit of the day. I'll tell y'all my process too when I get in the car or when I get some time to myself. I hate the fact that my strapless bra is showing. Like I can get it to not show in some pictures, but whatever. I got my Anastasia um, body glitter on. So I'm all shimmery or whatever and whatnot. I did two TikToks. So I'm pretty excited about that because I don't, that's one thing that I always forget to do is TikToks. Like I do, I'll take some pictures. I'll do some little snap videos, but I always forget the TikToks. So I got a TikTok today. Girl, like you a whole fucking catfish. Cause they don't know what you look like good to hear. Oh my gosh. Hey, I have, I'm so oiled up. I don't even think boob tape would have worked for me at this point. Like, I would have had to put that shit on as soon as I got out the shower before I put on any lotion. And I would have had to completely avoid that area. Because if I would have put a, a drop of lotion near that area or oil, because actually today I got on bio oil, um, it wouldn't have went well. So, anyway, <laughs> your girl is ready. Period. Come on. So, how 
but I thought I made reservations for Papa Do's and keep straight. And I did. Papa Do's at this point is reservation only. You can't eat at all without a reservation. Luckily, I did make a reservation for Wildfire, which is like a couple of minutes from here. But I thought I did make the reservation for both. Anyway, we're gonna go back and look at the hotel and see if it's giving the vibes that we want them to have. And then we're gonna go to the real reservations at Wildfire. Okay, wait a minute though. I look, I clean up well. You see me at work, you would never think. Am I catfish? You can say it. You can say that I'm a catfish. I wouldn't be upset. choked on my saliva earlier and I'm still choking so y'all saw yesterday we went to wildfire it was good <laughs> I think it was like it was it was like it was given American steakhouse but like 50s 60s kind of style um, the decor is sort of outdated a little bit, but I think that's the look they was going for. Um, I had, no, Honey had the barbecue chicken. Okay, let me go back. So for, they brought their bread out. It's like a, it's like an onion roll. It's got bits of onion on top and it was kind of salted a little bit. That was good. Hopefully y'all can hear me. And then we did, um. Then I did a sidecar, which is like Hennessy and but it's it's something, some sort of um, citrusy liqueur, I want to say. And then it was mixed with Remy, Remy Martin. Um, I normally don't drink Remy, but they only have vodka on the menu, and I'm I'm fucking done with vodka. Like it was either the vodka, the old fashioned, which can be a little bit strong for me sometimes, or the sidecar. But the sidecar was good. Okay, that shit was so good. We hoping y'all can hear me because because of the wind blowing but anyway i had the sidecar and what else i had i had honey had the barbecue chicken and broccoli then i had the salmon and i had a potato with it because we had a chopped salad already so that i used that as my vegetable with my meal um the chopped salad was good it was like seasoned chicken breast 
uh, oh i can't even get my words out seasoned chicken breast iceberg lettuce um avocado corn and like some sort of lemon vinaigrette it was good and then what else did it have tomatoes i don't remember it being tomato yeah it was tomatoes on there it was good it was a, it was a chopped salad so it was like real like you could spoon the salad that was good um, the waitress there i wish i knew her name she was really nice because she took our picture and when i say them pictures came out bomb as fuck baby I have not looked this everybody who's seen the picture been like y'all look so good so whatever her name is um <clears throat> i don't know i wish i knew her name but she was very nice she took our pictures and she gave us a little anniversary cake it's a flourless cake which i don't particularly care for it gives me like not melted chocolate but like fudge it gives me that consistency in my mouth i ain't really care for it but it was nice to her to give us that that was really nice she took our pictures and she wrapped our food up for us and everything so it was it was good i'm gonna say i'm gonna give it like an eight out of ten and i only took away because of the decor obviously like you can't get no real good pictures in there okay i had to get into a quieter place <laughs> it was just kind of windy out there and it was getting kind of hot and they started playing music and stuff we ain't doing that am i gone I look crazy. <laughs> I look very crazy. Looking crazy. Looking crazy. Looking crazy. The hotel is right by where we ate wildfire. And I don't know about everybody else, but when I when I'm ready to stay at a hotel, I always go drive by and look at it and see how it look on the outside because pictures will tell you one thing but if you actually seeing it then it's better and because it was right by wildfire we was like we might as well just go check out the hotel when i say baby the vibes of that hotel i'm like it looks very resort like like a midwest resort but you're not on a resort it's just a regular hotel so I can't wait till we go this weekend um just to kind of experience something different and kind of continue our anniversary again we would have did more but i gotta work today um we had early morning appointments it's like we was not gonna enjoy our time but we did make sure we had the night of our anniversary off both of us so so anyway i'm about to like calculate my bills and yeah grown-up shit boring ass grown up shit period so I'll see y'all later